I got this 1951 Gibson GA20 at the guitar show last fall, and as you can see, somebody did some sort of horror show mask or re recover to the thing. Has the re has the original speaker, which got a little repair. Those awesome 6V6 power tubes, you know, I like that circuit. And, um, you know, so, you know, a lot of that was okay, but as you can see, I mean, that's just a nightmare. Why would you ever do something like that? Okay, it even gets more gruesome. Look at all these, um, all the caps and resistors, are, they're pretty much trash. They're all dead and rotten and nasty in there. And um, so I took it all apart and cleaned it up, took off its, its ugly dead skin leather mask of nastiness. Oh, that's the output transformer mounted to the speaker. It was dead. Um, and uh, there's there's the logo. Woohoo! That was a monumental moment for me and all the work. And, and so that was, was on my workbench, taken apart, and I'd taken all the covering off of it, dusted it off, tried to clean it up best I can. Um, there's the speaker with the uh, baffle board and all the stuff on my workbench. There's a crack that uh, Bobby Getchell from Getchell Amplification uh, sealed up that crack, and he didn't didn't have any worries about the the water damage there on the cone. There it is, all recapped. I think he was able to salvage something like seven of the resistors, the original carbon composites uh, uh, resistors, and um, so it's all recapped and ready to go. Basically, he was able to use some of the original wire. There it is, all cleaned up. All rewired, looking nice. It's not like a complete um, uh, re. It's more of a rehab than like a uh, um, restoration. And there are the guts in the bag, the old dead stuff. I figured I'd keep that. So there you go. Uh, look at the other video for live um, audio.